The Weedinator is the world's first open source autonomous weeding machine for small farms. It uses a simple but powerful Arduino type control system to perform super accurate GPS navigation. Once on the bed of vegetables, navigation switches to an even more accurate line following camera with barcode recognition and weeding itself is achieved with a rotating claw mounted on a rugged industrial CNC platform. The machine travels slowly up the vegetable bed, stopping at set intervals to send the claw off in pre-programmed patterns to within 10 millimeters of the plants. The claw churns through the top inch of the soil using current sensing technology and weeds that have germinated underneath the surface never get the chance to get established. Up until now, manufacturers have concentrated on building ever larger, more and more expensive tractor-based systems which require massive fields with fast monocrop cultivation. Whilst this provides efficient food production, it is devastating for the natural environment. Many animals, insects, fungi and soil bacteria are destroyed by these massive machines, rendering the landscape a virtual desert. But now, with state-of-the-art technology available to the masses, small biodiverse farms can start to compete with the monsters of agriculture. Okay, the machine is now in fully autonomous weeding mode and I think it's just coming to the end of one weeding routine and the uh, CNC arm, weeding arm, is just coming forwards towards us and hopefully when it comes all the way forwards it will hit a point and then cause the machine to slowly move to the next marker which is here. So we're using the Pixie 2 object recognition camera and it recognises barcodes. It has a barcode there. And uh, here is our weeding claw. Oh, the machine started moving. The machine is moving forwards to the next barcode. There it is. So it's actually weeding and moving forwards at the moment. So hopefully it'll recognize this barcode here and stop exactly at the right position it's literally within about three millimeters right it's gone into slow motion even though it's pretty slow before it's now moving like incredibly slowly just because it's right close up on that barcode so to get super accurate it's stopped and the arm it's now moving backwards. Now hopefully it's in the right position and it's not going to destroy our precious leaks which are here. Tiny little plants, very delicate. So if that claw goes hammering into those leaks, if it's in the wrong position, then we're in trouble. Is it killing leaks? Or is it between the columns? So in this direction, this is it's travelling up a column, and then when it's going backwards and forwards along the row, it's going along a row. So at the moment it's column weeding, and will it hit the leak? Doesn't look like it. it seems to have missed them. It's pretty good. Good pixie. Very good pixie done a good job and of course the person who planted the leeks as well they've done a good job because if the leeks aren't in the right position then Claude doesn't know that at the moment it's not got enough intelligence to know if the leeks are in the wrong position yet but that may improve as time goes on As the project goes on, we'll try and introduce a little bit of artificial intelligence. We can actually recognise individual leaklings and uh, use cameras to create a grid of leaks. And that's another way of navigating. We could, of course, use both cameras at the same time and create a little bit of uh, interpolation between the two with some kind of filter. <laughs> 